the Hanson and Ross exhibit taking place here at the Art Gallery now until November 2nd. And I'm here with Kim to get the scoop of what people can expect. Yes, so what can people expect of this exhibit when they come to visit it? Well, they expect to see really beautiful pottery. I mean, bowls, platters, vases, all from the Hanson Ross studio. Uh, Hanson Ross studio was located in Fort Capel and operated from the 1950s right up until 2005. And uh, uh, former Hanson uh, from Denmark uh, uh, made a partnership with uh, 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 Ross from uh, originally from Manitoba, and they established the studio house at uh, at Fort Capel. And over the years, produced tens of thousands of pots that uh, that the true had a great and positive effect on the history of ceramics in Saskatchewan. Uh, while they were in that uh, in that studio and and through their work throughout the province, they taught a number of uh, Saskatchewan potters who are working today and uh, influenced the professionals uh, and the style of the day. They kind of merged between uh, European modernism and the prairie kind of modernism. <laughs> And the use of local clays um, uh, from Saskatchewan and so forth really uh, developed a, a, a unique style, quite a beautiful style. And this is really an art history show about uh, about two wonderful potters who are part of art history in, uh, of Saskatchewan and, uh, and Canada. What do you think it is specifically about their work that really kind of makes them unique? Um, among other potters in the world, other than like you know the clay that was used here in the province. Well, it was the uh, the way they worked in color, uh, mixtures of uh, using uh, clay itself to make some of the colors in their work. The uh, the kind of richness of the color, the subtlety, uh, the the kind of fine uh, carving of uh, patterns and uh, and images into the surface of the work, and then the kind of sensitivity with which they glazed and layered and built up that uh, the surfaces on these pots. It, they're they're not. Uh, loud and garish things. They're they're uh, quite beautiful and rich. Do you think there was a purpose on why they wanted to come here? Like what what there what maybe attracted them to our province? Well, uh, Ross was working for the Saskatchewan Arts Board uh, in the in the uh, uh, kind of late fifties and. Uh, and uh, uh, Hansen had uh, uh, moved to Canada and uh, kind of uh, found Ross, who he had known and met in Denmark a few years earlier. And, uh, and so they kind of uh, came together in Saskatchewan because that was where they had the, a, a great studio under Ross and the Arts Board. So. Okay. Perfect. And then um, anything I didn't ask you that you think is really important for the community to know about this exhibit? <laughs> Well, I, what's uh, what's interesting is uh, the number of the potters that worked here in Swift Current were had also taken classes with Hanson Ross, and and some of the early kind of uh, uh, stories that I heard from them were, you know, their uh, experience working with those potters, and so I, there was a really significant connection between the history of pottery in Swift Current and Southwest Corner, and uh, and uh, Hanson Ross.